Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Back, back. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit, and I'm back. Got my brother B8 1100 with me. You already know what it is. Ooh. So we're going to be talking about Dobie, man. Long live Dobie. Shout out to Montgomery, Alabama, too. So um, Dobie will have a lot of traction between 2012 and 2013. And he will be deleted in 2013. So it says Glenn Thomas born June 13, 1991. Died December 28, 2013. Better known by his stage name, Dobie, was an American rapper from Montgomery, Alabama. He was perhaps best known for being signed to fellow rapper T.I.'s Atlanta-based record label Hustle Game. Thomas was also known for his signature eye patch, the result of a shooting that occurred in 2009. During his career, he released several mixtapes, including Trap Life in 2012 and Baby Jesus in 2013. He was also featured on the 2013 Grand Hustle compilation, Get Do or Die. Doc said, yeah, man, uh, my cousin, man, he on the way up here to see me. I said, all right, man, well, tell him meet me up here, uh, tell him meet me at Phillips. I was at Phillips, I was at, I think, Lennox Mom, Phil Cloud, some so me, Doe. Frank White, we went sat down, had dinner, and, uh, and, and and Frank said to me, all right, man, so what we need to do to get up out of my gun right now? They're hoping this billboard will contribute to that cause and remember 51 lives lost to the homicide in the city. Something has got to come from this, and I'm praying that something come out of it. Thomas was shot and killed on December 28, 2013 at the Centennial Hill Bar and Grill in his hometown of Montgomery, Alabama. On Alabama News Network at time. Two people are dead and six others recovering from injuries after shots are fired in a bar with a history of violent events. Now Montgomery Mayor Todd Strange is ordering the Centennial Hill Bar and Grill, formerly known as the Rose Supper Club, to be shut down as friends, family, and fans mourn. Let me find out. This is one of Dobie's music videos. But before making his mark in the music industry and signing with rapper T.I.'s record label out of Atlanta. He just was a guy. I mean, he just was our guy. I can't explain it, but he just was our guy. Dobie, born Glenn Thomas, a Montgomery native, beloved by fans for not forgetting his roots. Even when he went to BT, he acknowledged Montgomery. This is Tennessee, Alabama, Atlanta connection. But the 22-year-old up-and-coming rapper's music career's cut short after he was shot and killed in this bar on Highland Avenue early Saturday morning. The hip-hop community flooded Twitter. Celebrities like B.O.B., Russell Simmons, Drake, just to name a few, tweeting messages of condolence. I wish it would stop. You know, we praying. You know, if all the people would come together and do the right thing, you know, love one another and Come to God. Also killed a 21-year-old Troy University student, Kimberly Johnson. Dean of Students Herb Reeves released this statement saying, in part, the Troy University family is saddened to learn of the death of Kimberly Johnson, a junior social work major from Montgomery. Anytime there is a loss of life, it is tragic. Our thoughts are with Ms. Johnson's family and friends, as well as the other victims of this senseless tragedy. A tragedy that comes just three days after Kimberly Johnson turned 21 years old. I know all she wanted to do was have fun, to enjoy her 21st birthday, and then for her to go out and get murdered, like, it's devastating. Devastating not just for the people who knew them, but the entire community. Forever. 
This marks the 47th and 48th homicides in Montgomery this year. For Alabama News Network, I'm Sarah Canty. Thanks, Sarah. And so far, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers at 215 STOP or the Montgomery Police Department at 625 2831. This marks the 47th and 48th homicides in Montgomery this year. Uh, my name is Doby. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, the name of the mixtape is Baby Jesus. It's online mixtape.com right now. You can go download it from there. Hey, let me find not you fuck, nigga. Yeah, I've been making music since I was say like 13, but I've been knowing I've been wanting to do it since I was like eight, eight or nine years old. I actually, when I first met my um, dad, he was around the studio, so he had me around the music and got me, you know, got me into the floor things early. So I, um, I started making music like 13, 14, but I actually got serious about it, like right after I got shot in 2009, I was like 17, and I just really knew, like, you know, I got a second chance at life. I knew I was going to commit myself to this music. And that's what I've been doing since then, like since 2009. Let me find out where you stay. I like that bitch up like it chroma. Let me find out you fake trouble. It, it just gave me a, a, another outlook on life, you know, that, you know, God gave me a second chance and it like this. Because, you know, when the doctor told me, like, you know, 9% of people I didn't want to make it from a uh, gosh I want to the face, you know, it just made me realize just how blessed I was. I actually don't write, I just go in there and work. I just go in there and work. I hit a beat, I like it. I mean the beat, we have conversations just like how we have. We go in there, talk to the beat, get it down pat, lead, it's like a puzzle. Yeah. I don't, it's, not, it's not too many songs that I hear. It's a, it's a couple songs that I hear that I don't like other people like. Like for instance, like they let me find out. Like I didn't know, I didn't really like that song when I first made it. But other people liked it. You know, I feel like it's like my, I feel, I feel like it, I don't say my worst song, because I don't feel like I got a bad song, but it's like one of my least favorite songs, but it ended up being like my biggest song, ended up being like the, you know, the song that sparked my career. I went and I just joking around with the song, it came out all right to me, everybody likes it, though. you know, I put it out instantly, as soon as I finished with it, I put it out on the internet, people start talking about it, tweeting about it, you know, writing about it. And uh, when I put my mixtape out, my second mixtape, the OAT2, I went putting that song on now. But then was like my management was like, man, put that, let me find out on now. I'm telling you, let's go with this song. Put it on now. Like, nah, it's all right. It's a like, little too cliche. It ain't, you know, it don't sound like no smash to me. I'm like, nah, man, put it out. The people gonna mess with it. So I throw it on now. But like I said, I got a call from New York. Like, next thing I'm mind, I gotta put it out. Like shoot this video, we need to do this. We gonna get behind this song right here, right now, I mean. So you know, shout out the underscore blueprint. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. I just try to talk to my fans, try to get a um, you know, a relationship with my fans. So when I get out there, you know, I try my best to try to build a relationship with every single person in the room because you know, you can't just go out there and just meet every single person that came and paid their money to see. So I want to make them feel, you know, what I'm saying welcome as possible. As soon as I step out there, so just communication, eye contact, you know, just work the room. Make sure you see everybody, you know, make sure everybody know you see them. I don't think no matter how big you get, y'all going to be nervous every time you step out on the stage. Because all eyes on you, everybody came here to see you. No matter if it's 10 people in the room, 10,000 people in the room, everybody came to see you. So, you know, got put on the show every time you go out there. They pay their money. Let me find out that little money in them photos ain't joint. Let me find out you crashing out like you don't know where you going. Let's just continue just grinding out, man. And see how far I can take this thing, you know. See how far I can take this thing. Just take the limit out of the sky right now. And just, you know. And just continue uh, explore. You know, I'm always continue doing music because that's my passion. You know, but I also want to get off into some other things too. You know, more business and make more business decisions. But it all gonna work out. Just right now, just focusing on my music and building my craft. So it says three men were indicted on on a murder and assault charges in connection with a shooting that killed three and injured eight. 
inside the Sentinel Hill Bar and Grill. A college student and a well-known local rap artist were killed over the weekend, and now we're learning more about a possible motive in this crime, and we're hearing from the victim's families. First, the arrest. This is Jason Quan McWilliams. Police say he turned himself in and is now charged with capital murder. They say he's responsible for the shooting deaths of rapper Glenn Thomas, also known as Doe B, and Troy University student Kimberly Johnson. We also learned today that the shooting was the result of an ongoing dispute between McWilliams and Doe B. It happened inside Centennial Bar and Grill in Montgomery, formerly known as the Rose Supper Club near downtown. Uh, there were six remaining that suffered or sustained gunshot wounds. Uh, some of those individuals were non-life threatening. They have already been treated and released from local hospitals. Uh, one we know right now is still listed in critical condition. Court documents show McWilliams has an extensive criminal history, including arrests and jail time for domestic violence, other shootings, robbery, and drugs. WSFA 12 News has been in contact with McWilliams' family. One member tells us they, they believe he is innocent based, based on eyewitness accounts. They would not go on camera for an interview. Mayor Todd Strange issued this statement after the murder, saying in part, effective immediately, the city of Montgomery has taken action to close the Centennial Hill Bar and Grill on Highland Avenue, which operated previously as the Rose Supper Club. We do not take this action lightly, but believe this decision is compelled by clear evidence that continued operation of this establishment poses an imminent threat to the public safety. And the bar has a history of violent events that dates back years. In 2006, three people were shot outside the nightclub. Then in 2007, a man was shot and killed, and again on New Year's Day, and an apparent robbery in 2008. In 2009, a man was found shot dead in a vehicle outside the club. And then in 2011, another man was shot. And the incident that eventually ended the Rose Supper Club happened just last year in December when six people were shot, resulting in a revoking of the liquor license. Now, the owners tried to reopen the club under a new name, Flight, but they never received approval. Then in August, the city of Montgomery did allow the club to reopen at Centennial Hill Bar and Grill with new owners, and they required a 60% food purchase minimum every month. Now, to date, City Council President Charles Ginwright spoke out on the murders and the club's violent history. We're all very upset with this. We, we're totally embarrassed that it's happened in the city of Montgomery. We don't like this kind of thing. City council members have all been contacted and talked to the day, along with the mayor. The mayor's been in contact with all of us. Uh, we're very concerned about the, sit the situation. There's a lot of uh, factors that go into this, and so you just can't make a, a snap decision on this, but you have to have that collaboration. But uh, in, in the big scheme of things, I've been on the phone since about 7 this morning, um, you know, many, many, many phone calls later, but all, all people have to be working in the same direction. The shooting stemmed from a dispute between McWilliams, Williams, Darius Thomas, and Doe B. Montgomery Police Detective Andy Magnus testified in January 2014 preliminary hearing that Darius Thomas was angry at Doe B because the rapper had refused to help him get into, get into the club that night. Doe B was set to perform that night. Darius Thomas and Mac Williams, however, were later able to get into the club and started throwing gang signs and yelling Southside full week. Magnus said during a court testimony, Southside and Fourway are local gangs. Darius Thomas and Dobie soon ended up face to face, and the rapper allegedly shoved Darius Thomas in the face. Darius Thomas then raised his arm to knock his hand away and a bottle went flying, according to the detective. Magnus said witnesses told police McWilliams later began shooting directly across the street, while Darius Thomas began shooting from the stairs, fell to the base of the stairs and continued shooting from the floor. Sentinel Hill Barn Grill 
formerly the Rose Supper Club, closed the, closed the following shooting. The Montgomery City Council didn't allow the bar to reopen. McWilliams and Mark are set to be arraigned on September 28th. So, I was doing a little research on this last night, and um, it's crazy how this man was actually killed because he didn't want help them get in the club. Like, how ironic is that? Like, that's crazy, huh? Like, you would take somebody life because they don't want to help you get in the club. And this man was about to put Montgomery on the map back when. You feel what I'm saying? He really had a lot of traction, a lot of motion. And one of the guys that actually deleted him, that had something to do with deleting him, actually had one eye too. That's crazy. When I did, do, did my research and did my digging, this guy had a patch on his eye too. That's crazy. Think he probably was jealous of dude or something, bro? He could have been, you know. That probably was just a case, the bill of case right there. Once he ain't let him in the club, that sealed mm -hmm. his feet. That was a case because ain't nobody just really just killing nobody just Come for on, not man. letting him in the club. And because it ain't that serious. It's not that serious. Not it's just, up pretty big. Not just me not letting you in the club. I, I ain't help y'all get in the club. Like, nah. Like, come on, man. That's some built up shit that they It was had. bigger than that. Yeah, for sure. They already had, probably had animosity against the man. Then once he started popping, that animosity just grew. You feel me? Animosity and envy. You feel me? Jealousy. And that right there, that just was the tip of the iceberg. You feel me? Like, once he did that, that sealed his fate. Like, look, man, we gonna just, you feel me? But man, that's crazy, man. Long live Dobito, man. Shout out to Montgomery, Alabama, man. Long live everybody that lost their life that night, man. That's crazy, man. That boy must have just started open fire or some shit. That was a lot like of people. He just started shooting in the club. Damn. Well, from across the street from the club. That's a lot of people got shot, bro. A lot of people got killed. Crazy. But y'all get in that comment section, man. Hit that like button. Make sure the notifications turned on. Hit that subscribe button and stay plugged. We be right back. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit. My brother B8 11 honey. You already know what it is. I just hit my shooter, told him knock his head off. Leave him on the block. Yeah, it's fuck the ops. Riding with the mob. With the mock up in my pot. 30 in the Glock. That's about a hundred shots. I get it out the mud. Or I get it in blood. Yeah, I'm the plug. I'm show love like bug. Get my family and my niggas out the hood. About the hood. Pedal to the metal roller, hop up in the wood. Gang, gang shit. I be on it like I'm sure. Like Smoking on that Manny Pacquiao, that be that good. That be that